Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the least common multiple of given numbers. And to be specific, in the last part of our video, we will talk about how to get the least common multiples of these three numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically, guys, before we dive in, to our example, we're in, we will try to find the LCM or the least common multiples, multiple of three numbers let us know first how to find the multiples or the LCM of these two different numbers. So what we have here is 8 and 12. The first method that I'm going to show you is simply by using the listing method. I think common na ginagamit. So what we need to do here is first we will list down all the multiples of 8 and 12. So let's try to figure out what is the LCM of these given numbers. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. So as you can see guys, what is happening here is that what we need to do here is first, we will put down the number here as first as the first multiple and then to get the other multiple or the next multiple of this number mag-add lang tayo ng another 8 from the first number so as you can see the first number is 8 plus 8 that is 16 plus 8 that is 24 plus 8 that is 32 and then what's next after 32 the next one is i will list down i will list it down the answer is 40 followed by 40 plus 8 which is 48 next is 50 4 and so on so these are the first multiples of 8 and if you will continue this one same pattern lang guys all you need to do is to add 8 from the succeeding numbers next what about sir the multiples of 12 for the multiples of 12, what you need to do here is to list down first the number 12, then add 12 from 12, that is 24. 24 plus 12, that is 36. 36 plus 12, that is 48. Then 48 plus 12, that is 60, and so on. So, how are we going to identify which one is the least common multiple. Try to observe the given numbers, uh, the multiples of 8 and 12. The common multiples are 24 and 48. For this set of multiples lang, eh? as you can see, we have the common multiples which is 24 and 20, 48. But, what we need here is the least common multiple again we need what we need is the least common multiple if you will compare 24 and 48 the least common multiple is 24 meaning the lcm of 8 and 12 is simply 24 this is the answer guys so what happened here in number one or the first two exam first numbers that we need to find the LCM is that ginamit natin yung listing method. So in the next part of our video, in our next example, let's have this example. Find the LCM of these three numbers: six, twelve, and fifteen. So in this case, we we will be using the listing method and then we will compare it with the other method that we're going to use so let me try using the listing method so i'm going to put down all the um multiples of 6 12 15 so for 6 the multiples are 6 12 18 24 30 Guys, in this case, we are trying to find the multiples of three numbers. Huh? 30, what's next is 36, 
Next is what? What's next? Six thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight, fifty-four. Right? Is it fifty-four? Yes. Sixty, sixty-six, and so on. For twelve, the man we have twelve. All you need to do to do is add. 24, 36, 48, 60, and 72, and so on. For 15, 15, plus 15, 30, plus 15, 45, plus 15, 60, plus 15, 75, and so on. And as you can see guys, meron na tayong common. We have common... Uh, common multiples, sobrang dami natin common multiples Pero, ang pinakauna nilang common O yung pinakamababa nilang common O yung least common multiple nila Is definitely 60 Meaning, the LCM of 6, 12, and 15 is equal to 60 This is the answer guys So guys, in this case, as you can see eh, What we used here is yung ating listing method so, I'm gonna show you how to use the prime factorization para makuha natin yung LCM. And dapat, ang maging sagot natin is also 60. So, let us try to calculate for the LCM of 6, 12, and 15 using factorization. So, let me put this uh, number. 6, 12, and 15. Guys, I'm showing you two, dif uh, two different methods para may mga options kayo when your teacher give you a the assignment. So for example, you are assigned to use this kind of method. At, at least, alam nyo na, diba? So, how to use the prime factorizations? Factor lang natin to. Our 6 can be factored out as 2 times 3. So, stop na tayo dito because... These are already prime factors. 2 and 3 are prime factors or prime numbers. For 12 naman, we could use 4 times 3. So stop tayo dito because this one is already a prime number. But for 4, we can still factor it out as 2 times 2. And we will stop here because 2 are prime numbers. So what about 15? For 15, the factors are 3 times 5. So, are they already a prime factors? Yes, they are prime factors. Stop tayo dito. Now, how are we going to identify the LCM? To identify the LCM, here. Una mong gagawin is that you will count the number of 2. Diba yung first prime factor natin dito is 2 or prime number is 2? Saan dito sa mga ito? May, meron tayong 2 dito, meron tayo dito 2. Ngayon, paano natin siya consider Bilangin nyo kung alin number yung meron may pinakamaraming factors ng 2. And that is 12. Meron tayong dalawa, diba? So that is 2 times 2. Yun ang ikakount natin. Yung dami ng, yung may pinakamaraming prime factor na ginamit sa isang factor. Dito kasi isa lang, Kaya hindi natin siya ginamit kasi mas marami sa 12. Dalawang 2 times 2 dito. Next, after 2 is 3. Since lahat naman ay mayroong tag isa isa, 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 times 3 lang yan. Okay? Next, after 2, 3, 5 naman tayo. Nag-iisa lang siya. So that is 5. So again, sir, paano nito nakuha? Ito. Yung first prime factor natin or prime number natin within these factors ay yung 2. Hanapin mo yung may pinakamaraming ginamit na 2. Yung may most used prime number na 2. And nasa 12 yun, which is 1 and 2. Kaya tayo meron 2 times 2. Pero sir, what if tatlo? Meron tayong tatlo. Let's say for example, meron tayong number ng kanyang prime numbers na ginamit na 2 is 3 times. E di yun gagamitin natin. Now, sir, what about 3? So 3, since lahat ay meron, so, ibig sabihin, walang mas marami, lahat sila para pare so isa lang gagamitin natin. Kasi tige, isa lang sila. For 5 naman, same with 5, and then, siya yung 5 natin. 
Isa lang. So, 5. So, what we need to do is to multiply these numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. Right? Times 2. Uh, times 3. Which is 12. Times 5. That is equal to 60. So, again. 2 times 2. 4. Times 3. Which is equal to 12. Times 5. Which is equal to 60. So, definitely... This is our prime factor. Um, this common multiple. And to compare natin dito sa sagot natin kanina, this is 60. And your answer here is also 60. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to find the LCM of three numbers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, teacher Gon. Maray, maray, salamat. Bye-bye!